In today's video, the three different full spins I'm going to share with you are this ace to pivot, Troy Yukon, and my new favorite, the Dragon Fall. Hey everyone, Tim here with the Weather Rope, and today I'm stood in Castle Rig Stone Circle because I thought what better place than a circle to teach you how to spin 360 degrees. Let's get started, shall we? So with the ace pivot, of course, if you can already do ace, that's going to help. And if you can do drag and roll pivot, which is this, where you do a drag and roll and pivot on the front leg, those are the two moves that you need just to try this. And all we're going to do is when we pivot on that front leg, it's going to follow it through so we're back where we started. You're on that front leg, kind of drag and roll in, and you're going to use that drive from this backhand to rotate your one full spin. So like I say, begin, you can just do a half turn, and then you're just going to try and spin the whole way around and step back. And the key here is to not commit your weight to going past that. So I'm pivoting, but my chest is still staying slightly this side of it. So, and this one's really nice because you can step into it and step back out of it. One of the keys for this move that's going to be imperative in all of these, what I teach you, is that when I'm doing any kind of full spin with the rope, the rope always spins on the same side as me. So if you call this side of me south, and I'm doing ace, the rope's on my south, then the second spin, it stays south. And, and there'll be two revolutions of the rope for one full spin. So it'll go south, south, and then I'm back. So the rope doesn't go from back to front as I'm turning, it stays on that side. The other things to think about when you're doing any full spin is that there's this coil ha action happens. It happens kind of naturally. The rope teaches us how to do it, but the, essentially the rope works like a vertical cog and we're a horizontal cog. And the rope's turning vertically and that's what helps to rotate us. And we have this coil action go on. So this is the third cue, is that there's a slight coil. So one shoulder drops as one, as one side lengthens, one side drops. And it's this shortening that allows us to turn quickly because obviously the rope's done a lot of rotation in that time. The rope comes over, we have this shortening of one side, pivot, and then we can release back out. So those are the three things to think about with any of these. Next up, we've got the Shroyuken, named after, of course, Street Fighters Ryu and Ken. This, the crouched 360 uppercut. The Shroyuken is a 360 from underhand. You could try it standing neutrally to begin with if you want, and maybe we'll just go a 180 to begin. So just to get used to that. So as the rope hits this right side of me, south side of me, I'm gonna use the momentum and hop 180 and then the rope should stay south side of me. So we'll go again and I'll try the 360 this time. And the more now as I want to get more uh, authoritative with it, because you have to really commit to these, you can't go half assed into a 360, is that I'm gonna crouch and really give it some uppercut from my right side here, so. Like that. And then if you want a bit of staggered stance, looking a bit more like Ryu. And that's the Shroyuken. We've done the overhand with the ace. We've done the underhand with the Shroyuken. 360s from the middle, we've got drag and fall. Now there are two variations to this. As you may know, with double dragons, normal double dragon is done when the rope hits behind my heels, so kind of backside, boom. That's normal double dragon. But they can also do it when the rope comes past my toe side, which I, which I call, that's like an underhand double dragon. Well, you could, I think toe side's more understandable. So you can see the rope's coming past my toes and that's doing it. So it's the same with dragon full. We can do dragon and then full spin after it goes past the heels or after the toes. We'll go heel side first. So it's not much more I can teach you on that one other than if you can double dragon, when it comes past the heels, you're gonna go jump 360. And then the other one, version of that is when it comes past the toes, boom. Slightly easier past the toes than past the heels. And then we can connect them up. So you could go from one side to the other. So heel 360, toe 360. Like 
that. Or if you're really brave and ready for it, you can try 360s past the heels in a row. It's pretty hard, or 360s past the toes. <laughs> Nearly. So those are three different full spins you can try with the rope. If that feels too advanced for you and you don't have the basics down, the ace, the double dragon, and you want to learn them, check out the eight week to fluidity course on wearetherope.com. Other than that, see you in the next video. Peace guys.